Welcome to our maternity unit. At Surrey and Sussex, we put your care first. For this reason, we've been working on several new initiatives to improve your choice regarding how and where you give birth. We provide maternity services to women across Surrey and Sussex. Last year, nearly 4,500 babies were born in the Trust. Alongside the main services at East Surrey Hospital, we also have antenatal services based in both Crawley and Horsham hospitals. At our trust, you are an equal partner in your care and treatment when it's being planned and delivered. We'll ensure that you are informed and involved in your care and also treated with dignity and respect at all stages of your contact with us. Depending on your clinical needs, you can choose to have your baby at home where you'll be cared for by midwives from our home birth team, in our brand new birthing unit or in the main delivery suite where you'll be cared for by our team of midwives and obstetricians. This is a very special and exciting time for you and I'm sure you will have many questions for us. This film will introduce you to some of the services we offer and help to answer many of the common questions we are asked. You will initially meet one of our midwives in your own doctor's surgery. The first appointment will take about an hour and the midwife will discuss your medical history and explain the individualised plan of care for your pregnancy. The midwife will explain the options there are regarding where you can have your baby. This is also an opportunity to discuss any questions or concerns you may have. Most women will only need to see a midwife through their pregnancy, but occasionally women will need to have shared pregnancy care with an obstetrician. Your midwife will be able to discuss this further with you. Ultrasound scans are offered to all pregnant women at 12 and 22 weeks. They are non-invasive screening tests that are safe and easy to perform. The 12-week scan is the first opportunity to see your baby's heart beating. We can check how many babies you are expecting and we check your expected due date, although this is only an estimate and some babies wait up to two weeks after this date to be born. At this scan we also offer screening for Down syndrome. At the 22-week scan we check for any structural abnormalities, see if the baby is growing normally and check the placenta is not too close to the cervix. This will be your last scan unless a midwife or obstetrician requests further investigations. For information regarding our 3D scan service, please contact one of the midwifery matrons via switchboard. Women whose previous baby was born by caesarean section will be offered an appointment in the Birth Choices Clinic. This is an opportunity to discuss your previous birth and explore options for the birth of your next baby. Women who request a caesarean section or are worried about specific aspects of childbirth may also be referred to this clinic. During your pregnancy, there might be occasions when you feel unwell, are worried about the baby or simply need reassurance. Our antenatal day unit operates seven days a week and midwives are on hand to take your calls and provide advice. If they feel it's appropriate, you'll be invited into the day unit and assessed by our midwives and referred to the obstetric team if necessary. You can find the number for the antenatal day unit in your handheld record. Our maternity service offers a range of options when you are considering where to have your baby. If you choose to have a home birth, be it your first or subsequent baby, our dedicated home birth team will look after you. Well, I chose to have home birth because um, I didn't really want to be in a medical environment given that there was nothing wrong with me. I'm fit and healthy and the pregnancies all went very well, so I didn't really want to be uh, in a medical, clinical environment when I could just be at home, which obviously women have done for centuries. If you are interested in having a home birth, please discuss this with your midwife who will arrange a home visit and talk this through with you and your partner. If you are having your baby in hospital, we want to support your labour to progress as naturally as possible. The early stages of labour are best done at home. You can get advice from our midwives over the phone and they will advise when to come into the unit. The maternity unit is best accessed via the east entrance. 
At night, there is an intercom system to gain entry to the hospital. Hospital car parks are available on site. Our triage midwives will assess you on arrival, explain your choices and discuss your birth plan. Our midwifery-led birthing unit is situated alongside the main delivery suite. Healthy women who have no complications of pregnancy are encouraged to use the birthing unit. Our midwives are highly skilled at supporting women through birth. We help you use alternative methods to cope with labour such as active birth positions, massage and use of the birthing pool. Every room has a birthing pool and a double bed so your partner can stay with you throughout your stay. We have a kitchen and lounge area for everyone in the unit to use. We actively encourage normal labour and birth but recognise that some women require medical intervention in order to achieve a safe outcome. If you have certain medical conditions, have experienced problems in a previous pregnancy or if complications arise during this pregnancy, you will be advised to have your baby in a consultant-led unit. The team includes midwives, obstetric doctors, neonatal doctors and anaesthetists. In labour, you will be admitted on one of our ensuite labour rooms and receive one-to-one -one care from a named midwife. We also have a birthing pool on the delivery suite. There is a 24-hour epidural service and our obstetricians and anaesthetists provide the highest standard of care to mothers and their babies during labour. Our dedicated maternity theatre is used when an instrumental or caesarean section is required. We know this can be a difficult time but our friendly team will continue to support you throughout so the birth of your baby in whatever circumstance remains a positive and rewarding experience. Our experience here at East Harwood Hospital has been fantastic. Um, we had Henry um, just two nights ago and um, ever since then the, the staff have been so attentive and delivery was amazing, you know, hard work but um, incredible. Yeah, so again, the midwives there were, were fantastic. The neonatal unit specialises in the care of babies who have been born too early, too small or with a condition that requires specialised treatment. We recognise that having a baby who requires a stay on the unit can be traumatic and distressing. The team endeavours to provide you and your family with support at this often difficult time. You will be involved in decisions about the care and our doctors are available to answer your questions regarding your baby's condition and treatment. Our nursing staff will help support you and involve you in safely looking after your baby until your baby has been discharged from the service, enabling a smooth transition from the hospital to the home environment. If you give birth on the birthing unit, you, your partner and your baby may be able to stay in your room until you go home. Most women and babies stay for less than 12 hours. All other mothers and babies are transferred to Burstow, our postnatal ward. Here a team of midwives, midwifery support workers and infant feeding coordinators ensure you and your baby are cared for and confident to go home. Burstow has four single rooms that may be available as an amenity room at a nightly cost. For further information regarding our amenity rooms, please contact a midwifery matron. Your partner and children can visit you and your baby, but we encourage other visitors to be kept to a minimum. Please look at our website for current visiting hours. How to feed your baby is the most important decision you will make once your baby is born. We will provide you with support to feed your baby irrespective of the method you choose. We know breastfeeding is the healthiest way to feed your baby and recognise the many important health benefits it brings for you both. This will be discussed with you individually during your pregnancy at around 30 weeks. Once your baby has arrived, all mothers are encouraged to hold their babies in skin-to-skin -skin contact. This should last for at least an hour and is a very important time for you and your baby to get to know each other. Our staff will be available to help you correctly position and attach your baby. Our 11 o'clock stop talk prepares you for what to expect in the first week of your breastfeeding journey. 
When you leave the hospital, care will continue at home with our community midwives. If you need further routine information about your care, please contact your community midwife or the delivery suite in an emergency. Our contact information is detailed within your handheld record for your convenience. We work closely with those who use our service and welcome their views and opinions. We have an active maternity user group called the Maternity Services Liaison Committee. This is chaired and facilitated by our users. If you would like to become part of this group, which enables us to review and continually improve our maternity service, please contact our Head of Midwifery via the switchboard.